Hello lovely viewers and welcome to Learning with Jeju. In today's lesson, we shall answer sample questions and answers on the poem An African Thunderstorm by David Rubadiri. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel as well. Let's begin. Question 1. What is the attitude of the pregnant clouds as it gathers to perch on hills? A. Friendly B. Proud C. Peaceful D. Childish The answer to this question is B. The attitude of the pregnant cloud as it gathers to perch on hills is that of a proud one. Question 2. Gathering to perch on hills, like sinister dark wings. This extract exemplifies A. Metaphor B. Simile C. Euphemism D. Oxymoron The answer to this question is B. Gathering to perch on hills, like sinister dark wings, exemplifies the literary term simile. Question 3. The mood of children in reaction to the storm is one of A. Excitement B. Fear C. Panic D. Calm the correct answer to this question is A. The mood of children in reaction to the impending storm is one of excitement. Question 4. To expose dangling breasts. Breasts used in the poem is an example of A. Metaphor B. Synodoki C. Metonymy D. Personification The answer to this question is B. Breasts, in the extract, to expose dangling breasts, is an example of synedoki. Question 5. Here and there, like a plague of locusts, alludes to A. The plague of Egypt B. Aircrafts in World War II C. The plague of Africa D. European exploration The answer to this question is A. Here and there, like a plague of locusts, alludes to the plague of Egypt. Question 6. A thunderstorm is a symbol of A. Opportunities B. Terror C. Joy D. Peace The answer to this question is B. A thunderstorm is a symbol of terror. Question 7. Like dark sinister wings, the wind whistles by. What is the dominant literary device in this extract? A. Alliteration B. Simile C. Pun D. Personification The correct answer to this question is A. Like dark sinister wings, the wind whistles by. It's an example of alliteration. Question 8. The whirling wind in the poem demonstrates an image of A. Confusion B. Calm C. Movement D. Hostility The answer to this question is A. The whirling wind in the poem demonstrates an image of confusion. Question 9. Tossing up tins on this tail is an example of A. Euphemism B. Assonance C. Alliteration D. Metaphor The correct answer to this question is D. Tossing up tins on its tail is an example of a metaphor. Question 10. Amidst the smell of fired smoke, this extract reveals to us which one of the following imagery. A. Visual imagery B. Tactile imagery C. Gastatory imagery. D. Olfactory imagery. The answer to this question is D. Olfactory imagery.